interesting. Interesting, interesting. I was actually thinking that we were going to see his corn. His corn? He's not going to pull out his corn. Yeah. He's going to bring out the tried and true fox. But Afro is going to be using his Bayonetta. So we, this we is actually <laughs> going to be interesting. We didn't see the day one DLC matchup where everybody's either like corn or Bayonetta yep. <laughs> that one day. All right, but all right, we got game one here in town and city. This is a good stage for both of these players, both of their characters. Yeah. You see there? <laughs> Right away, he just went for the reflect just to see if he would shoot anything. See? Okay. Good jump out right there. And I see a lot of use of wish time right there. Of course, that will wish time if you do use it. Oh, no. This is actually a bad position. Okay. Good DI. Yeah. Fortunately for him, he is a fast faller. But yeah. it helps him get out of combos. Yeah. But if unfortunately, it also like, punishes him. Some combos work better <laughs> on fast fallers. Yep. Wow. Oh, gets the footstool. I don't think he wanted that there for that string. But nonetheless, he has XX at 88%. And he's going to get this dive kick. Okay. Just goes for one dive kick. Oh, and that's it. And shoots up all over. <laughs> man, dude, that's so crazy. Which time is ridiculous, man. It is absolutely wow. crazy. Wow. And when you predict the side to be on stage, even if you just react, you can get a witch time free kill. Yep. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's funny because you don't really see too many people use their counters in that way. Yeah. Um, despite them actually being able to do it, the same, yeah. thing, especially at that kind of uh, percentage. Uh, nonetheless, you can get that stock. Okay. Even see if you don't that think that it's table. gonna kill, like with just a fresh smash attack, you should be able to charge it long enough where it should kill normally where it doesn't. Yep. That's where you shouldn't be afraid of. And also, Bayonetta has some throw combos sometimes. Yeah, and uh, on your DI. Okay, good yep. double jab and uh, forward throw right there. Now uh, stage on, oh, and he's just jumping around. That's something to kind of be a little aware of when you are playing against Bayonetta's, because if they go for their side B, then they have to cover a, a B. They may be in a place where they actually can't auto snap, and you may actually have a free hit right there. So yeah. kind of gave that up because he was jumping around instead in neutral, and for that now he's on the verge of a two stop. Yeah, because he's he's in death percent right now yeah. to wish time. Smash attack or just anything. And Good back air to okay. close out that stock. Back air, and this man is in business. Yeah, but something that Bayonetta can do is just full jump and hold that Nair button and put some percentage in whether or not you're close to him. Yep. Squeak on a little percent here and there. Seems like XX is playing much more patiently than the first stock, which is good. Yeah, absolutely. He does not want to get risked uh, by that witch time and possibly yeah. die right away. Uh, and see right there, I saw him go for, oh, yeah, but that's not going to do anything yet. He's okay. I've seen some dirty things with that, man. Yeah. <laughs> when you let snap, yep. it's It can be crazy. filthy. Look I've seen one time. where where they, uh, they ledge hog as soon as they do that, and then they force you to hit R or something, and they read it, and then it's just this destruction, dude. Yep. Oh, okay. that's going to close it out. And, yeah, he's going to close out that game one. Afro winning. Game one is Bayonetta versus yep. X-Axis Fox, which he's known for. Now, one thing I would actually like to point out is we saw a couple witch times coming out from Afro. Uh, somewhat liberal use earlier on during the set. Yeah, and even, I even when it was really early. Yeah, and I realized that x didn't really know necessarily what to do against witch time. And a lot of times people see witch time and they can react to it, but they throw out their quickest move to yeah. hit witch time. And the problem and is... If you do that, you will always hit bats within. Bat within, yep. The best thing that I have found for if you're up against Bayonetta yep. is if you can react to her witch time, use a move that's frame 20 or more, and you'll always land in the cooldown frames. And so you'll always get the consistent punish. That's rather really cool. Than ending up getting a bats within. Yeah. And you could also get a grab if you're waiting to you yeah. know, get that as well. Oh, good up air right there from x -Axe. Okay, so now we see his Corrin. This matchup is not in favor of Corrin, of course, but if you play patiently enough, it's certainly doable, just like any matchup. Yeah, I think she actually does really well in this matchup. Uh, she, Her neutral is really phenomenal, and I think that's Corrin's? one. Yeah, because of her, of course, she has her bear, her nair, uh, good spacing tools that she can utilize with Bayonetta. Where Bayonetta, a lot of times, what they're going to be going for is usually down tilt as their combo starters. And, of course, the side B on the ground, which is punishable. Uh, you can shield grab that. A lot of people still ha kind of confused yep. with it, but I think it's just the nuance of the new character coming out. But, of course, Bayonetta has Witch Time, the, mm -hmm. the anti-air 
anti airs, of course. Um, mm -hmm. Her good pressure with just the single side B, either you got out shielded or, you know, perfectly time a pivot grab. Off stage, you can witch time your up B. Yep. Here's the witch time here. And B. See? Yep. It's, it's just when you have to recover with up B that has a hitbox that's as slow as Corrin's, I feel like witch time just kind of disables that. It's yeah. the same as Fox and Falco. That's why I feel like off stage it's really bad for her. Neutral, I can see what you're saying, but when you get too close to Corrin, sometimes, yeah. depending on her startup. But um, from far away, it's not too bad, but Bayonetta can apply pressure with the guns and make you approach her, and depending on what you use, it's kind of hard for you to, to do anything yep. else. Okay, and that's going to do some decent damage. Going to have him up in the air. See what he can do. Okay, that combo is not going to start. Oh, but he throws it to the wish time. Oh, and he gets this combo. Oh, I think Ooh. he wanted more than that. Yeah, but oh, yeah, he did. Oh, lucky no. for x, -X he didn't yeah, get much he more. He actually got really lucky right there because he was going to go for the aerial side B, and that would have been a, a devastating combo. Burn. Yep. Yeah, that uh, that full charge claw does quite a bit of shield pressure. Oh, oh. On stage and he jumps immediately off. Good job for him. That was a good angle to get that yep. side B back on stage on the ledge. Oh, this could be bad. Yep. Good dive kick. Now Corrin's at a scary percentage. Oh, That's going to be it. He just shakes X -X. his hand automatically. Just X -X. As soon as he saw the witch time, he extended his hand. You know what? Man. That's what witch, witch time, time does.